Hi guys and welcome to day eight. So today I'm going to talk about three ways and how you can beat burnout. Basically you want to ideally eradicate or at a minimum minimize burning yourself out and in times where we are full of stress this can be sometimes challenging. So the first thing you can do is listen to your body. Trust me when I say that this we have here is pretty much a suit. It's a loan. What I believe that truly counts is your soul and your spirit. And this is why working on your mind is really important. But let's nurture the body we are borrowing. Let's nurture the vessel that is holding us. You know, what I love about the body, and I use it in my daily gratitude, you know, whether I put on weight or whether I'm struggling with stretch marks or something, I thank my body every single day. You know, I thank my body for protecting me. And as a result, your body is what gives you signs of when you are about to burn out. For me, sometimes I know that I am literally on the decline, which is about to affect my mental health, when I find myself either getting spots or acne, or sometimes it's actually when my shoulder starts to hurt. So even though I have an injury, I know that I'm about to burn out because everything in my body is going up to the most weakened part of it. So listen to your body. You know, sometimes people say, oh, my back aches. Oh, you know, this, you know, I thought this niggling pain had gone and then all of a sudden it's back. Your body's trying to tell you something. Stop and figure out what it is you're dealing with outside of your physical body that is now manifesting in the body. Your body is amazing. Make sure you thank it every single day, but listen to it. Second tip is to be selfish. I know, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Be selfish. Now, stay with me. Selfish doesn't mean you don't care about other people, but what it means is that you love yourself enough to fill your cup, to fill your love tank, because then you are able to give others. You know, the most nonsensical thing I've ever heard is someone trying to give from an empty cup. Now, this is a whole nother topic, but we tend to attract what we give out. So if you are depleted in energy, in an ability to love other people, you will attract people that are also empty and looking for love. And sometimes this is where we clash. So similar with burnout, you want to make sure you are nurturing yourself. Yes, I have two kids. Yes, I have three businesses. And at the moment, I'm trying to revive one of them because of COVID-19. But I still know that anything I do comes from a healthy mind and a healthy body. And as a result, I am selfish by taking out times in the day, whether it's an hour in the morning and I'm meditating, I'm doing exercise. For me, it is self-preservation. So choose whichever name you want. It doesn't mean you don't love. You actually love harder when you have self-preserved. Number three, I call it lobster limitation. What I want you to do is understand your lobster limitation. And yes, I'm talking about lobster, the sea animal. Stay with me. I heard this story once and I absolutely loved it. This guy, I think he was a professor, he speaks about the lobster, which is almost like a crab. And what happens is that a lobster grows and as it grows, its hardened shell has to crack and break for the inner skin to grow. And then a new shell forms over it. Now, as human beings, that's the best description I can give for our growth. I am in the most uncomfortable time of my life right now, where I really do not know what's going to happen tomorrow in three months. I'm currently homeschooling, you know, running a business or three businesses, you know, trying to deliver on clients' needs, look after myself, give love to my partner and be available for him. There is so much I'm trying to do. And as uncomfortable as it is, it is me growing. It is me understanding my lobster limitation that even though this is uncomfortable, this is me actually breaking my shell. This is me increasing my limitation, increasing my threshold for what might appear to be pain or discomfort. Because once I get over this, it means that should another incident happen in life, which doesn't have to be a pandemic or anything, but just something that appears stressful, my lobster limitation has grown. And as a result, I can deal with anything that comes my way. So understanding what your limitations are and understanding that you are trying to grow to another place will allow you to manage your burnout because you shouldn't burn out. You should just see it as this is uncomfortable, but I'm going to get comfortable with it because I know that my lobster limitation is going to grow each time and then go meditate. Meditation is powerful. 
It is powerful and will tie all those three points together. So I'm going to repeat. Firstly, listen to your body. He or she is there to protect you. And trust me, you want to thank your body every single day. Second, self-preserve. Look after yourself. When your cup is full, you are able to give everybody else. Last but not least, understand your lobster limitation. Understand what experience is pushing you for growth. Be okay with it and then get ready for the next step. All right, love and light. Bye-bye.